Welcome everybody into this new course where we are going to create together a dashboard using Next.js 14 and ShadCN. Of course, we are going to use other libraries, but here the main library that we are going to use it's ShadCN UI. So for those who don't know, ShadCN UI, it's a library that you can use actually to create dynamic uh, components, dashboards, playground, forms, etc., etc. So we can see here that we've got an example that with um, ShadCN, we can create this entire dashboard that we have here. So of course, I'm not going to create this dashboard that you got here that you can copy paste directly. Me, I'm going to use Chatien to create my own dashboard to get a different result at the end. And we are going to combine this with Tailwind CSS. And of course, you can grab this dashboard into the comments, into the description of the video where I'm going to give you the repository. All right, so the first step is to create a project which is totally empty, a Next.js project. And here, if I open my terminal, I arrive here and I got nothing else actually than Next.js 14 with Tailwind CSS that I, that I already created. So it's pretty easy if you want to create a new Next.js application. You got to type npx create next app latest. Okay, so me, it's done. What I want to do is to click here on get started. And I'm going to go here on the top on installation. So if I go on Next.js, we can see here that we've got the full, um, the full, actually tutorial to install everything. So here there is um, the step to install um, your application. So me, I installed it with TypeScript, Tailwind CSS, and ESLint. And then down here there is this command that I didn't run yet, and I'm going to run this command. So npm chat cn. UI latest, so I'm going to click here on NPM. I'm going to get back to my project and I'm going to type enter. And so from here, I'm going to uh, have some questions to fulfill. So here I want to install a ShadCN UI to the project. And here, the first question that we've got, it's the style. So ShadCN UI is giving you different style. I'm going to take the default one. The base color is going to be for me the neutral color. Um, if I want to add the CSS variables for colors, I don't think, I think so, yes, I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to install ShadCN, then I will have here the dependency and stuff. Immediately, if I come back to the project, I get this components.json that we get here with actually the configuration of ShadCN here. So we've got here the schema, which is on a new URL. Then we've got the Tailwind config. RSC and TSX on true, and we've got the alias where we can go grab the utils and components. So let's take a look at components. I'm going to go here on components, and for now it's empty. But if I go on lib and utils, we can see that we've got some code that has been written. We're gonna let it here because here ShadCN will need that to work with Tailwind. And on my application right now, I got nothing else than the starter pack of Next.js. Okay, so if I go down here, I can see that I can add some fonts also. I'm not going to do it for now. And we can see that we can extend the font family directly through Tailwind. And then here we've got the example of the uh, folder structure uh, just after um, we are going to install the components because ShadCN didn't install by default all the components. What we're going to do is running a command every time to install the component we need. And we will get access to the code after. So here we will see that we will have a folder called UI with all the components inside this UI folder. And of course, the libutils that we saw. So if you want to know every component that are available, you can go here. We've got all the components basic components that we would retrieve in any um, uh, components library. The main difference with ShadCN UI is that it's not a um, library as, I, as we understand a library is. It means that we didn't install ShadCN with all the components. We have to install manually every component. It has a lot of advantages. The first advantage is that it's going to take our project lighter and we will be able to get ends on the code. Okay, so if I Come down here, we've got an example, and we can add here the button. So here, of course, I'm going to use the button. So I'm going just to 
copy paste this, I'm going to get back, I'm going to open my terminal again, and I'm going to run this command npx chatcnui at let latest add button. So I'm going to type enter and what's going to happen is that you can see here that on the UI folder I got the button.tsx and if I go to look at it, look at this, it's amazing. We've got here all the code of the button so we can use directly the button inside our UI. So I'm going to get back directly here on my home page and I'm just going to return here a div and it's going to be a hello div. There we go. And I'm going to run the project. So I'm going to type yarn and yarn dev. It's going to install entirely the project. And after that, we will be able to visualize our Next.js ChatCN project directly um, inside the browser. So, which is really cool is that we've got this button that we will be able to call everybody uh, everywhere else, sorry. So here I'm going to type localhost 3000. And there we go. So we got hello up here. So I'm going to go down and we can see that I can import the button. So I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to close this and I got an empty project for now. So what I'm going to do here is to type button and we can see that I can grab the button of next G of uh, ChatCN and I can put it directly inside here. And after here, I can put my button. So I got the click me option. And if I come back to it, we can see that we've got the button of Chatien that has been added to the project. Okay, so it's really cool. Now, if I want to have some options, what we're going to do all along this course is to come back to the section of the component we are looking for. And here we can see that we've got different uh, styling here. We've got the code. Again, that's what we saw. And we can see that we've got, for instance, here variants. So this variant here will help me actually to um, change the style of the button. So I'm going to zoom here. I'm going to unzoom. I'm going to zoom again. There we go. I'm going to come here and add my variant outline. And we can see that my button changed. The style of my button changed. Of course, we can see here that we've got other examples, so we can turn the button into a secondary, a destructive, outline, ghost, link, icon, um, with icon, for instance. Uh, we've got a loading state, so if we look at the code of the loading state, which is cool is that we got this disable, and we've got also here an icon coming from Lucid React. We're not obliged to use it, but it will be very useful. So you understand that we install ChatCN and now we are going to install every component every time we would need one. So this is the basic we are going to use to create the whole dashboard. So there's a lot of elements that we're going to use. For instance, here there is a calendar. We are going to use an avatar. There is an alert, for instance, etc., etc. You got to understand that I'm not going to use every component that is here. It's just a course to show you how to create your own application using ChatCN and to create at the end a dashboard that you will be able to use. So here I'm going to use some elements, not every of them, but which is cool is that every time you need an element, you can go to the components part and grab this element. It's as easy as this. If you have some concerns about the timing, you can go here and ChatCN, we can see here that ChatCN is using Tailwind CSS. So, I mean, we are using Tailwind CSS basically with the application, but here we can use also Tailwind CSS. So here we can see that we will be able to um, actually work on the architecture of the whole application with Tailwind CSS. For the dark mode, we get here um, the option to install next theme, themes that we can use also. We can use the CLI. So the CLI, we installed it. There is some typography uh, options that we can look at. So here we got on uh, the titles, um, on the paragraph, on the code. It's a whole package of style that is already um, provided by the, by the whole um, ChatCN UI package. There is also the Figma. So if you do some design and you need to use the, um, basically the, 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 all the components and all the, the team of uh, ChatCN, you can go directly here using uh, the Figma. 
Okay, also, if you are looking for some example, again, you can go here on the top. And please, if you can, go to the... Um, go to the GitHub uh, here and please add here a star to the package because um, this project has been elected the best project on GitHub this year, uh, last year in 2023. And it's clearly an amazing project that will be very useful for a lot of you, a lot of front-end developers. So please go here and add a star. Another library that I'm going to use, it's Nivo. So you probably don't know Nivo, but Nivo, it's a, it's a chart library that you can use to create very beautiful chart. So let's give an example here. We can see that we got different charts that we can use. And if I click here, we can see that it's going to display a lot of other elements, such as here the grid that you can see on GitHub. I'm going to use this library to display some graph directly into my dashboard. It's built on top of D3 and React. So if you are not following this course with React, you probably can find another options but here, this is the library that I'm going to use. If you are using Vue.js and you would like to use Chatien with Vue.js, um, you've got some libraries that are porting, actually, Chatien to Vue. So here we can see that we got a version that is applied for Vue.js to use exactly the same component. And we've got exactly the same, okay? We've got exactly the same for Svelte. So if I look for Chatien Svelte, here we can see that Hunterbyte, Hunter, has uh, ported actually Chatsien to Svelte. So if we look at it quickly, we can see that we can also use it for Svelte, etc., etc. There will be a lot of um, libraries that will be adapted to the framework that you want to use. Okay, so we are ready to start this course. Let's go, let's start to build our dashboard. We are going to jump, you understood, between Chatsien between Nivo and between Tailwind CSS.